it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, it's Friday, so happy weekend to you. Um, my whole household has been knocked down with strep throat, scarlet fever, double ear infections. So um, I got this stuff a little over a week ago, so it's just kind of been sitting here. I finally have enough energy where I felt like putting on a little makeup and sitting here talking to you. So I'm just excited to like share everything with you because I did find some really cute stuff um, and you may or may not have seen it yet, but I still want to share it with you. So as always, I love to start my hauls with my most favorite things. So I found these brand new yard signs. Look at these on a stake. I love it. These are brand new this year. You get Spooky Street, Boo Boulevard, in Nightmare Alley. Look how cute. These are right here. I love it. And the tombstones say, enter if you dare, turn back now. But look how cute. You got a little haunted house up here. So I love these. And then this one kind of goes all like um, all the poison and the, um, the witches stuff they have. Um, Wicked Witch Way, Dead End and Haunted Highway. Look at that. Look how cute. I love the coloring too. And I love how everything is um, like matching this year. Like they have like themes. These are great. Um, like I've said before, like I would not put this out in the rain because once you start to get wet, they ruin. So if you have like a covered porch or something, maybe stick it up there or just decorate inside your house with it. You can always pop these off and uh, make a cute little sign. <laughs> okay, Bailey is growling at a squirrel out the window. So I'm UPS. trying to get her to stop, but... That's a, uh, a UPS person. Oh no, she's growling to the UPS man <laughs> next door. So I'm trying to get her to quit. But, all right, I found some new signs and I love them. Look at this. Look how cute, I love Welcome, come in for a spell. And like the witch and the cat, it's black glitter, but it's like an extra piece. You see that? Like I said, this right here is an extra piece put on there. I love it. This would be so cute, like your entryway. Outside, um, on a wreath. Love that. Um, happy Halloween, and then boo. Look how cute that is. And the pumpkin is an extra piece. Look how great these new signs are. Um, the happy and Halloween and then the ghost, the little hat is all glitter. And then this one, <laughs> just creeping it real. Look at the little skeletons, they're like dancing, have a little party. Uh, and then the orange is glitter. Love that one. And then this one, Happy Halloween. Look at that. Look at that house. Like the haunted house on there. And this black is glitter. And I love how the bats, they almost look like they're like, uh, like a, a tin or something. I like that. And I like how they do the stripes. That's like completely different than anything they've done. So I like that one too. I love them all. <laughs> It's nothing like doing a Dollar Tree haul to like lift my spirits. You know, we've all felt so bad all week. So doing this, like it makes me happy. And then these are also brand new this year. Look, stop by for a spell. It's like the little mason jars and everything in my haul is $1.25. I don't have any bonus stores. So everything you see is $1.25. But I love this because once again, it's the whole like hocus pocus, witch's brew. There's a little bat, this little bat right there. And it stands, like it's um, thick enough, you know, to stand. Perfect to your tray size. Um, if you decorate shelves, like my mom's hutch, so when we decorate, this stuff is so cute on it. So that one. This one is purple and which way to the candy? Look how cute that is. Um, and the little broom, and then the candy pieces is white glitter. Love that one. 
And then this one, come in for a bite, and all the purple is glitter. It's really cute. I love how they did a white background because that purple and black really pop. And then this one, home is where the uh, home is where the hunt is, and the orange is glitter. Oh my gosh, I love them. These are all so cute. Um, I think my favorite though is probably the stop by for a spill, just because I decorate with that. But. I love the coloring of the bat. Oh, yeah. So here you go. These two right here are my favorites. But which one do you like the best? Right there. And okay. They brought these back from last year. I'm so happy they did. It is the little felt shape. Look, they have little ghosts and the little bats. So I'm gonna show you these. They also had a cat. So here's a little ghost. I'm gonna pop its little eyes out. Little eyes and mouth. Yeah, you just easily, it's already like done for you. You just have to just kind of pop it out. So here's the ghost. I'm gonna show you like putting some black behind it. Look at that, see how it really makes those eyes and mouth stand out? Look how cute. And the little bat, all you have to do is put your little like tape on the back And then you can decorate your walls or like your fireplace, your mantle, just going up any wall by the door and have it look like you have bats flying around. So that's why I love these because you get 12, you can get 12 bats for $1.25. You can do a lot with 12 bats. And then you also get, um, yeah, 12 ghosts. And you can make you, you can make you a really cute garland rotating. You could have like the ghost, a bat, ghost, bat. You could add just some beads to it. You could do like a couple little strips of um, a ribbon or something that you can make your really cute little banner or like garland with it. I also grabbed a couple of these. Look at these ghosts. Okay, now they're just tinsel, but if you really look at them, they're adorable. So I got the. So I got two of them. I may go back and get one more because I'm thinking about making a, um, like a garland that goes around the front door. I've never made one before, but I'm thinking about making like a huge like garland and attaching like some ghosts to them. I also got some purple. I love purple. I got some purple bats. Look. Look how cute. Look at that purple. I think they had red also, but I love purple, so I got it. So I just got a couple bats. But I was thinking if I do like a garland to go around our front door, I could attach this kind of stuff to it. So we'll see if that happens. But if not, I, you can still decorate like outside or even inside, especially like kids' rooms with this kind of stuff. All right, more brand new funds. Um, no, okay, they, they do this like every year for like every holiday, but look at the new Halloween one. Look how cute. I love this one. Um, the witch is in. You've got the witch on your little broom right here. And it's purple, which I love. So you got this one right here. And this sucker is solid. <laughs> um, this one is cute. Bugs and kisses. And look, you got a spider web with a spider. I like that one. This one, I love it. Happy Halloween. And this kind of has like a retro kind of look to it. So if you're decorating with like the vintage Halloween, this would, um, you could pop this right into that and it would look perfect with it. And then this one, have a spooky, creepy, frightful, happy Halloween. And look at the coloring. Look how good. I love that one too. They did a great job because I really, I like all of these. I feel like it's kind of like when I'm showing you stuff, it's kind of get lost in the background because last week, if you saw the video, we decorated for like my Halloween. We did the mantle and the console table and stuff. So my little jack lantern here. And I had several of you ask me, um, the, the candy corn jack-o'-lantern man right here. Uh, we made this together last year. 
So if you missed the video where we made this big old jack-o'-lantern together, it's candy corn. Um, I'll link it down in the description for you. And then at the very end too, I'll try to link the video. You can just click on it. All right, let's move on to some fall and kind of come back to the Halloween. Um, I found brand new towels and they have so many to choose from. Um, this one right here, hello fall, but look at the truck and the barn. Look how pretty, I love the coloring of this one. Now this is that, um, it's like the 100% polyester, I believe, right? Yeah, 100% polyester. So I don't use these, like I don't, the, the material is kind of weird feeling to me, but they're cute to decorate with. You know, hang them on your stove, your dishwasher, your refrigerator. Um, if you have a mixer on your counter, kind of coming out of the bowl. Look, look at that, look at the barn. Look how cute that is. And the little truck bed is full of pumpkins. Got that one. This is that same material, but it's adorable. Look, <laughs> it says gnome, sweet gnome. Y'all, it has a turkey. It's got pumpkins. You've got the little fall gnomes on here. I love it. This one is adorable. Um, I love the colorings too. And oh look, it's a little dog down here. Look, it's wearing a little hat and it's sitting on a pumpkin. That is so cute. Okay. okay, and then these right here, these are just the cotton ones. But look, Paz the Limit. <laughs> look at that, I love the pumpkin pie on it. But if you turn around to the back, it's just like little orange pie slices. Look how cute that is. Right. And then this one, it says eat ham. <laughs> and you got a turkey. And the back is like turkey meat. And then this one is Happy Fall, y'all, with just the leaves on it, and just plain. I love them. These are all so cute. And I must say, this gnome one, I just, I love the coloring of it. All the leaves and the pumpkins, that is really cute. They had, <laughs> up by the register, they had all of these t-shirts, and it's ones, it's like the, th um, the three quarter length sleeves, like a baseball style shirt. I grabbed it, it's a size large, but that is great with me because I love like a big comfy t-shirt for around the house. But look, look how nice this is. It's that Gildan, Gildan brand. So, and yeah, this is nice. And especially if you have a Cricut or something, you can um, put whatever design you want on here. I love finding like t-shirts like this at Dollar Tree. Oh, and if you notice my shirt, which some of you may recognize who this little guy is right here. <laughs> this is Bucky from Bucky's Gas Station. Y'all, if you've ever been to Bucky's Gas Station, it's amazing. It's like a huge store inside of a gas station. It like, it blew my mind the first time we went to one. Um, but on our, our way home from Florida, we stopped in the one in Georgia and I got this. And the back is even cuter. Um, but too, if you're in Kentucky, I think it's Richmond, like Richmond, Kentucky, like towards Lexington, they have a Bucky's there. So if you ever like on the weekend, you're looking for like a little road trip, um, go to Bucky's. All right, more new finds. I found these beautiful new little tins. I love when they do these. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. It says, um, bountiful, bountiful harvest and it's just this little blue truck with the little blue pumpkins in the back and i cannot tell if you can see that or not because of the way the sun is hitting right here let's see can you see that <laughs> i don't know this one is so pretty uh, i also got gathered together with a cornucopia yeah look at that Look at that beautiful cornucopia. And then this one says, happy fall with a wagon and some beautiful pumpkins in it. It's a, <laughs> it's a wheelbarrow full of beautiful like pumpkins. Look how pretty that is right there though. I found these beautiful new um, 
new to me. I don't remember these from last year. I'm that artist to pay attention. But it's these beautiful leaves and they're candle holders. But, okay, this one right here is my favorite. Look how pretty this little candle holder is. And it's glass. So make sure if you get these when they bag them, just be careful with them. And then this one right here is like a really pretty orange. But I'm going to show you. I've got some little LED candles. I'm going to show you what they look like. Yeah. Look at that. Look at it with like a candle in here. How pretty this looks. You see that? With that little candle in there just flickering. It would be so pretty on your table, like when you decorate. And then this really pretty orange. All right, so I just kind of like had Riley close the blinds for me. If you can see that. And y'all, I can't tell, but you can see and can't see. But that little candle in there, it just looks so pretty. I mean, honestly, it looks a lot more expensive than like $1.25. Okay, brand new fall fan, and I was happy that they did this because I love coffee. They have new travel coffee mugs, finally, um, and they're beautiful. So you get four, it's just little paper cups. Here's a little bag looks like, but we're gonna open this up so we can see what they actually look like. All right, so, you get four of the little travel lids. Ooh, look how pretty it is. Look, the thankful. Y'all, I love these. These cups feel so good. Look how pretty. All of those beautiful leaves all over it. And you get a package. You get four of the little thankful little wrappers that go around it. So you get four of these to go around your cup. So that way, if like you have hot coffee, hot chocolate, hot apple cider, you can hold this and you don't won't like burn your hand, you know, kind of helps with that heat. But it's also adorable. <laughs> Look at that. And then your little lids. Yes. Look at that right there. This is perfect because you sometimes like, when you leave the house, you want a cup of coffee, but if you're going to like a pumpkin patch, a fall festival, a farmer's market, you don't always want to carry that cup around the whole day with you. So you can be cute, and when you're done, you can throw it away, you know? <laughs> so I love them. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, my throat. <laughs> um, they also have these right here, and they're plaid. So we're going to see these. Once again, you get four lids, four, look at that plaid, look how pretty, four plaid, and then you get four, here's a little package, you get four little pumpkin wrappers to go around your cup, so let's slide that on there, yes, mm, look how cute, I love it. So cute if you do like a whole little um, like coffee bar, um, pumpkin spice bar, whatever you're going to do. Have your little cup sitting there. How cute. Alright, here they both are. I mean, the leaves. The leaves I'm thankful. Hands down is my favorite. I love that one. But I also really like this. And these are the only two designs that I saw. Alright, more new Halloween fans. Um, y'all, I went towel crazy. <laughs> they, but, I mean, it's so hard to pass up. Look at this one. Look how cute this is. Happy haunting. Ghoul's pumpkin delivery. It's got the black truck with jack-o'-lanterns and a ghost and bats. Look at that. It's perfect. I love it. Uh, once again, it's at, uh, like, polyester material. So, but just decorate with it. And you can have every day. <laughs> you can change out your tail every day, once a week, whatever you would. There's so many. This one, y'all, this one is so cute. Trick or treating with my nomies. Look at that. <laughs> They're in their costumes. You got a black cat, a Frankenstein, and a witch. That is just 
Too cute. And then this one is home is where you hang your broom, but it's a haunted house and a witch. Look how cute that is. I love them all. I really do. Ooh, I grabbed one more of this black, glittery, branchy little, um, it's like a garland. But I'm gonna show you. Yeah, see? Can you even see that? See what it looks like? But yeah, I wanted one more of these because I think I wanna try to do some kind of, like wrap it around a wreath or something, like a grapevine wreath. Um, I don't know. I haven't even opened these up yet to see what they even look like. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my gosh. There is so much fun. <laughs> Everything is coated in glitter. Okay. Um, what is this thing? Let's see. This is like... Alright y'all, so this is the first time I've ever actually like opened it up to see what it looks like. And it, like it dangles down. I don't know if you can even tell. But see, like it cascades down. You got like your your vine and everything just hangs down. So it really kind of gives it that like spooky, creepy kind of look. So it is really neat. It's not what I was thinking, but it still may work. But yeah, this, <laughs> you may want to open it outside and shake it out first. <laughs> I, I grabbed some really cute window clings. This one right here, this one's not new, but it's good. It's so good. This one right here. Um, they've had this for a couple years now. Like I said, if, especially if you do like the whole like decorate with witches and um, hocus pocus and potions. You can make a really cute sign with that. You've got a cute little witch's hat. So I love this one. I really like this one because look. Look how cute. Um, it's got candy corn. And that's the main reason I wanted it. Is because all the little candy corn pieces. But look at the little witch. <coughs> Sorry. Look at the little um, jack-o'-lantern. The witch hat. That's really cute. I love the little bats. You got the happy haunting. So you can um, take this apart and just like really make you something cute with it. But like I said, I wanted it because I, need, I want the, the candy corn for something we're going to do together. All right, this one right here, I had to grab, and if you know me, you probably know why. <laughs> Look at Frankie, and he's juggling candy corn. That is adorable. Y'all, you got the little girl ghost up here with a little bow. You got the little, like, vampire ghost. The little cute, look how cute she is. Little witch on her broom. Little mummy and little vampire. I love them. Um, now this one is so cute. Um, one of my little nieces turns three next weekend. So I figured like part of her gift, I would give her this because it's so cute. You know, that way she can like stick it on like their doors or windows or something. But I love it. And that little Frankie is adorable. And I love these glittery leaves right here. They're on a clip. Let me show you. These are like this beautiful orange. Look how pretty this orange is. And these look so great. Clip them on if you're doing a wreath, if you're doing a flower arrangement. But they're just, they're beautiful. And they're a great size. They come in this orange color, a brown color, and kind of a, a really pretty like green, but it's almost like a pea green or something. I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's just hard to describe the color of it. But, so I got one of these. Or you get a two pack. I grabbed this because I've seen so many ideas on Pinterest of using this towel. Look at this. It's a sticky self-adhesive wall wall tile from Dollar Tree. But I see people like cutting this out of like different shapes and they'll paint it and it's really pretty. So I grabbed one and I thought I could come up with something with it. But I love the detail to it. See, and it's raised. Let's see if I can open this. Now, if you have Pinterest, get on, on there because there's so many ideas and inspiration on Pinterest. 
See, it? see how it's raised? So I may try to do something with this. We'll see. So for a future little project I have going on, I grabbed um, six of these eight by 10, the canvas. It's the, yeah, it's got glitter everywhere. It's the stretch canvas, the crafter square section. Like I said, I grabbed six of these because I wanna make something for our downstairs bathroom. So we may do that together, but I grabbed six of them. I grabbed the cutest little pumpkin pill. Look at that adorable little face. I love it. And even if you're not really big into decorating for Halloween, this little like pumpkin pill, it's just that perfect little touch. Look at that. Look how cute that is. It matches his face. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so it matches that right there. But how cute is this? You can put you some little flowers down in here, some fall leaves. I love it. I grabbed me a couple more of the little ghost. Have you ever seen these at Dollar Tree? Um, every year I have some of these hanging from trees in our yards, but like every couple years I replace them because of that white, they kind of get a little dingy. So, but look, here's this little face. It's got like the star foam inside and it's little arms. You can spread them out, like you can bend them and then you hang them up like in a tree or your porch or something and they're so cute. <laughs> but look, I mean look, they're really good size too for $1.25. But I grabbed this and in the store I started playing around with it. I grabbed another one of the little lanterns from Dollar Tree. Um, this time I had batteries. When we were at the beach I found it and I didn't have batteries in the condo. But I have put some batteries in it. See it? And look, it flickers. So I thought that was really great. Now, in the store, I started playing around and I took its little arm. You just hook it through the little lantern, bend its little like hand, little arm up. So you can have a ghost holding a lit lantern. Look at that. Look how cute that's gonna be outside. I love it. Now, I will say, because the weight, it wants to tilt and hang this way, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way of either like adding some weight to this arm too. Um, that way it stays balanced. So, but I just thought this was such a cute idea of adding the little lantern to the little ghost. I love it. So I have um, so I have two ghosts and I have two of these lanterns. They also have an orange one with pumpkins on it. So you could like do a black and an orange. It really got me the orange one, but <laughs> I don't have any more batteries. But if you didn't see it, here was the orange one. So you could have the other ghost, like I said, just you know, spread its little arms out. And then Take your little lantern, loop it over its little hand, and then just bend that little hand up there so it can't like slide off. And then look how cute. <laughs> I mean, it's adorable. So really, for $2.50, you could have a really cute yard decor. All right, that is it. I feel winded. <laughs> My throat's starting out again from talking so much. But, all right, so I hope that you are healthy, <laughs> that you stay healthy. Um, strep throat, at least in our area, is like crazy high right now. So, so just be like safe and healthy. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Relax and take care of yourself, do a little decorating. Um, if you go to Dollar Tree, make sure you look for all this cute little stuff. Um, and when you're in the stores, play around. Because once you start like putting stuff together, you can make some really cute things on a budget. So, all right, now, hopefully I feel a little better. Hopefully by next week, I'll be back up and at them. We have so many crafts that we're gonna do together. My mom's hutch will decorate together next week. Um, Presley's birthday is next Friday. We're having a huge cousin party here because there's so many September birthdays. So I have a lot going on next week. So crafting, decorating, 
um, and who, know, who knows what else. <laughs> so, um, but all right, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.